much for joining us again day two of the window makeover process and we are back at um, glass place and we are here to just clear up tidy up what we started yesterday we had so much to go through and so we couldn't finish it in one day as we thought and hoped and that's why we are back so we're gonna walk you guys through the second day and part two of the makeover process and finally what the whole process will lead us to so you want to join us for the second day come along so this is what we did yesterday basically we looked at the upper part which is um, from the previous video this is basically beddings trays and warm stuff that um, she uses during cold season or cold weather or just for her uh, daily use so they are kept up here we organized and decluttered that part yesterday then we looked at this upper part also uh, we have um, warm and um, nice trench coats we have jackets we have a coat which she wears almost every other week we have shirts we have dresses and we have some skirts this we already looked at uh, we have arranged them nicely and so this part was done yesterday then this lower empty part is what we are starting with today we started a bit yesterday but we were not able to finish and so part of the clothes are what is in here all this are what we got from the closet and we are starting here we just gonna look at what is here mostly their tops um some skirts and just some gym outfits which are mostly here so uh, a big chunk of what was to be done was on um, this part which was done yesterday so yeah this is what we're gonna start with then we will come to this part so this part will also be looked at and then we will come to the shoes which is not in this room but basically that's what our day looks like today hopefully we uh, will be able to finish it today cluttered, edited, organized as you can see and we've done a bit of leveling just you know making sure that everything stays where they're supposed to be and for easier picking and returning once they're washed and all that kind of thing so from top we have beddings on my left we have beddings then we have a uh, duvet so basically we have here is for warm and nice bedding stuff then here we have you know clothes we have skirts sorry we have dresses up here we have skirts we have jumpsuits we have pants which are khaki and official trousers then we have tops which are you know basically chiffon shirts cotton name it they're all here then we have coats denim coats denim denim coat ankara african coats generally all the coats are all here then followed by um jackets uh then finally we have warm trench coats at the fire and at the back so everything is organized and labeled for easier picking and wearing then down here we have uh, at the back which you can't see <laughs> but at the back here we have some african outfits we have skirts we have um, you know 
warm kind of clothes for coast and all kind of stuff that um, will not be worn you know, anytime soon so we toss them at the back then we have some dress tops also then also more jumpsuit at the back then in front here we have gym wear which she wears you know every other day when she goes to the gym so they are near and where she can easily reach them we have some more tops you know another collection of tops and some shorts here then here we have some full necks and a bit of uh, t-shirt or cotton tops if you would call them like that then finally here we have night dress so basically that's what is in this section then at the bottom for now we don't have anything we just have nice looking clean space which uh, might be filled up with the um, her reading stuff maybe some books, notebooks, um, you know, stuff like that, a laptop or something like that will be in this space. So for now it's empty and clean and we like it like that for now at least. At least for now we say let it remain like that. So basically this is what is here. Then here we have looked at also the belt that she has here and what uh, we have left here are basically practical pieces that she wears she wears and they're in good condition so that's what is hanging here then uh, finally on this other side we have on the top at the top at the top at the top we have um, what are they called we have uh, jumpers yes we have jumpers and some uh, jeggings or skin tights if you like warm stuff that she wears around the house and that are meant to be worn here then followed by this section we have sweaters also warm clothes and we have t-shirts at the back then we have capsules here so these ones are in front because um she can pair them to work with coats and also wear them underneath some tops which are like and she fall behind that so they are in front here then um, down here we have jeans and jeggings you know um, on this other side and here we have more t-shirts so we have uh, space here which we like and we really love the way it's now free and it's more spacious so that's what is here then um, in this drawer I think we have what we have some personal undergarments here then finally here we have scarves and lessons basically stuff that she can use either to accessorize or just wear in the house uh, so we are uh, done with the clothes we are gonna look at the bags uh, we've removed them from this place so just gonna edit and see what is in good condition what is not uh, what she's keeping and what she's letting go of so that's where we are at this is the collection you know the pile we are about to start looking at and uh, we'll see what is worth keeping of course here are uh, you know the decluttered clothes experience I didn't realize um, I had so much that it <laughs> needed two whole days to do it and wow the many things we're able to get rid of I love the fact that I can be able to see my closet clearly when I get in I see where the coats are I see where the shirts are I see where the skirts are I love it and I have um, even though I had all that clutter I have mail missing you know, I'm a bit of a mail so I like the order um, and um, I'm striving to keep it that way as well. I intend to keep it uh, that way um, and even improve it maybe. Especially I like the colors together and the many other things together. So nowadays when I get into my room I'm excited because it's precious. It even seems to have more light, you know, <laughs> because uh, there is not so much clutter. And uh, yeah, we also got rid of uh, the papers. I think I don't have things that I don't need in the room anymore. 
um, things that are not about either uh, the closet dressing or for sleeping purposes. So I think the room itself is purpose. I remember telling you that uh, the declutter process was also just for me to be able to declutter my mind. And truthfully speaking, I feel free. <laughs> it's like out went the clothes and out went the stress. <laughs> so uh, I feel like my mind was also decluttered. So for me, other than it being a physical process, it was uh, spiritual. Do you call it spiritual or uh, it was a mental process? Thank you so much. Would I recommend this to anybody? Definitely so. For the holders. <laughs> holders, I'm talking to you. <laughs> because I'm one of them. Uh, if you need help. We need help. We usually need help to declutter. Because you always see something and then you think you will need it or you use it later and so on. It was nice to have help and um, just have somebody objective. They tell you why you need to get rid of it. That second year really helped to get rid of the information. Um, and of course, if your issue is you want to declutter your mind, maybe as I've said, it's also a mental process. Yeah, and I think it was just lovely. Uh, sometimes the reason we don't declutter is um, it's boring to do it by yourself. So having company, great company, and uh, having somebody who is very clear and categorical about where things are to go uh, really helps to make the process easy, seamless, and fast. There are some clothes I used to wear so often, so sometimes you're like, that dress I should have worn it right now. <laughs> But then discipline, discipline, I think the beauty is then you think of the other dress inside the locker to wear because if it was still there, then you'd still be wearing it <laughs> and you'd still be having all these many other clothes that you don't wear. So I've tried new things. I even tried some new designs that you shared. I've tried them before and yeah, they, it was, they were looking good, they looked awesome. Mm, I got the thumbs up from mm -hmm. people. Yeah, so. Looking forward to try the many other looks, but I've done two, three, four looks to beat here. It's been exciting. I then the thing is, you, I'm not thinking about it. I'm like, what were those looks we did with that? <laughs> so I just simply uh, pull out the clothes and I wear. Then I still remember the advice of the pointed shoes versus wide <laughs> and uh, trousers, wide skirts. I think that has also helped. So I think I've been enjoying dressing myself and I love dressing up. So other than the declutter. They are the necklaces tend to tangle. So we had them uh, hanging nicely on the wall. That has helped. And of course, um, the new, uh, I think we also labeled. Oh, the labeling has been awesome. So you know the bangles, the earrings, the African sure. things are here. And uh, yeah, all these other things are here. That has been really awesome. I, it's a time saver. <laughs> I think having things organized, things labeled, you know exactly where to look. Also, if somebody else got into the room and they interfered with their things, then it's easy for them to just put them back where they were. That has helped a lot. So, so the labeling was a plus. I'd already, and it gets exhausting, it gets tiring. So you do one space and then you are so done, you are done for like the whole year. But here we were able to do the whole closet and I think the benefit was because we had help and not just any help, professional help. So there is guidance, there is order over what to start, where to go. Uh, there is somebody to keep you on your toes and also keep you accountable to the job to finish. Um, so because it's as much uh, you as as it is uh, theirs as well and um, uh, I think the objectivity in which you are able to separate the things you don't need versus the things you need. Also the new arrangements of clothes, you know the new combinations of clothes, the new styles. Sometimes you've had things in your locker, you didn't know they go together, you didn't know they will um, go well with a certain something other piece inside your locker and now you are able to pick up 
So I think it's 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 an it's a good process. I'd say if you think you're going to do it alone, I don't think you'll get as much value as doing it. It's really a valuable uh, process. And by the way, uh, I think it's valuable even to the future because now I remember the other day I was trying to shop for things and I'm like, no, actually don't buy all these things. <laughs> you don't need them. You're able to know the thing that you really need. You remember where the gap is and so you only shop for what you need. So I think it's also saving on the pocket as well uh, in the long run. So try and <laughs> and the brand. So if you're interested in decluttering or either trying out a new style or uh, bumping up your style, your own style, try and the brand. She's the best in the business. I promise. <laughs>